Like a wave rolling across America, the changes came. Sometimes surprising, often shocking. By 1970, the passions of the 60s were being channeled into a social revolution, more widespread than anyone could have imagined a decade earlier. In 1969, in New York City, there was a riot that took place. The police routinely raided the bars in New York. No big deal. It happened all the time. And the end of June of 1969, for a number of reasons, the patrons fought back. And there was a riot that lasted for three days. But shortly thereafter, a call went out that a new organization was formed called the Gay Liberation Front. And the name, of course, was modeled after the Vietnamese Liberation Front, those words. And I think really was inspired by the rise of the black movement, or there were the examples on the media day after day of black people rising up and fighting back, the riots in Harlem. It was, it was an image that was in the air all the time, the image of the anti-war protesters, and of course women were writing articles about feminism. All of these images were reinforcing. And the reinforced message was, it's right to rebel.